Hey, what's going on, everyone? How are you guys doing today? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and I'm here with some breaking news, kind of, not really, but MoviePass. Yes, MoviePass is finding itself in a very bad, precarious situation. The reason why is because, well, it's um, it's going out of business. MoviePass is going out of business. So this thing was always doomed to fail, right? In my mind, MoviePass was an absolute extortion plot by the company that reinvigorated it. It was, it was, and I'll talk about that as we go through this thing. But in my mind, it was an extortion plot that ultimately failed and was completely rivaled by AMC and Cinemark and all the other companies, Regal, that all created their their particular program that ended up, uh, you know, basically their membership program that kicked MoviePass's ass. MoviePass was 10 bucks a month and you could go to almost let any theater and see a movie once per day. I mean, in no way was that supposed to be a forever thing? But that's because MoviePass, what they wanted to do was they were collecting your data and selling your data. And that was one part of the plot. But the extortion other stuff is what I'm talking about. Extortion of studios and theaters is what I'm more or less referring to. And again, it's my opinion. But let's look at here. Okay, so MoviePass's parent company files for bankruptcy. Ooh. Uh, it says here, I'll admit it. This is a bit disappointing for me. Back when MoviePass started its $9.95 a month deal, I had hoped for the best. I'd hoped that the, econ the economics would somehow work themselves out and they could find another revenue stream to help offset the loss they faced with each subscriber. Sadly, that never happened. And we saw a rapid decline of a company right in front of our eyes. See, okay. And I, and I reason why I'm reading this article from LRM online, even though this is more of an op-ed, uh, because this is what people weren't realizing, right? He's all like, oh, he's disappointed that MoviePass is going away. Uh, he'd hoped that they'd find another another stream. Like I said, they were selling your data, right? Their whole point was to collect the data of what movies people were going to see, uh, and what movies they were seeing frequently or whatever, and, and what type of movies, and then they were going to sell that to studios. That was one aspect of it. I'm not necessarily against that. Like, I understand that portion of the data collection, and I don't know if they even, like, track the rest of the stuff on your phone either. It seemed a little bit weird. But then what they would also do is they would also run out of money. And when they ran out of money, they would just shut the service down without telling anyone. There would just be problems. They'd say, oh, we're, we're dealing with a, an overage right now and it just the system's down. But they ran out of money on nearly a daily basis. So they were screwing over their people. They would run out of money. If you were a high frequency user, they would lock you out of your account and not let you get back in in order to buy a ticket. They would lie to you. They would screw you over. And so when you have this article basically like, oh, I'm disappointed that MoviePass went away, they were duplicitous. They were almost criminal in some ways. And when I talk about the extortion, there was another factor here where what they would do is they wanted to work deals with studios. They wanted studios to pay them, right? They wanted studios to pay them to promote certain films because what they were using as their argument was that they would have this, like, I think they had like 2 million subscribers or something like that. They had like 2 million people and they would be able to then funnel that 2 million people into seeing your movie on opening weekend. And that was the idea is that movie pass would be paying for those tickets, which that would then go into the studio's pockets, right? And the studio would then pay movie pass in order to basically push the people that direction, push them towards that movie and, and that w w using whatever incentives they could. So the idea, and again, this is my opinion is that movie pass wanted to more or less hold movie theaters hostage for, uh, you know, they wanted to hold them hostage or movies and theaters hostage. They wanted to do that. And now movie theater companies were apparently not too happy with movie pass. I don't quite understand why they still got paid and they're being screwed left and right as it is anyway. Right. And then they pass that savings onto the consumer via, let's say inflated ticket prices, as well as inflated concession stamp prices. I mean, it's, there's a reason why fewer people went to the movies last year than the library. You know, movies in general are becoming, uh, theatrical films at least, are becoming way more of a luxury item versus anything else. And this has a lot to do with our economy. Uh, the economy that everyone keeps touting as being this excellent shape, it's really not. And you can pay attention uh, to everyone around you <laughs> and look to see how much money they have uh, and everything else. But really, it's people aren't going as much. And this is to say that movies also aren't as good. They're kind of just paint by numbers. Uh, they kind of just come out, you know, everyone just kind of waits for the big spectacles, which is why Disney had $7 billion films in 2019. Anyway, sorry, I'm off on my, I'm, I'm, I'm on a rant. Now it goes on to say here, we saw the parent company, Helios and Matheson Analytics, try their best to salvage what they could. They shifted around price points, changed up their strategy, but ultimately nothing could have saved them from themselves. 
and stock prices have fallen 96% in the last year. Wow, man. Listen, I mean, I mean like, how oh God, who wrote this article? Because that is so like Joseph Jammer Medina. Who the hell is this guy? This guy, look at this. This is completely fabricated nonsense. This is absolute nonsense. We saw the, you, know, the, you play a violin, you know? Like the sad Affleck song, right? We saw the parent company, Helios and Matheson Analytics, tried their best to salvage what they could. They shifted around price points, changed up their strategy, but ultimately nothing could save them from themselves and stock prices fell. Not one mention of all the shady crap that they did that I just told you about, which legitimately happened. Like I should do a documentary, like a long form documentary about the rise and fall of MoviePass. Because there's stuff in there, that, like, like what I told you, it's that bad. It's really that bad. Uh, it says, now they've officially declared Chapter 7 bankruptcy with board members, uh, a lot of them, all handing in the resignations. They also lost other people, like their CFO, their interim CFO, and their interim CFO. And none of those people freaking matter because they're all just screwed everybody over. Uh, of course, MoviePass shut its doors last September, so all of this was expected, but now it's official. When we last heard, though, former CEO Ted Farnsworth seemed interested in buying MoviePass and going private with it. I still don't know if that's possible, but if he can pull it off, I guess. I mean, MoviePass was created by a guy who came from Netflix because he wanted to take the uh, on the, the subscription-based movie theater-going experience and apply it to that market. You know, the, it, So in, in essence, it could work because it has worked with with uh, AMC and Regal and Cinemark and all those other uh, theater chains that have that particular type of membership, it has worked. I mean, look at AMC. It's, what, their, their A-plus plan is you get uh, uh, three movies a week for 20 bucks a month, right? Like, that's a super good deal. That's a super good deal. I don't have an AMC that's near me. I have a Cinemark. So I spend the nine ninety nine a month to go and get their one ticket. And I get 20% off concessions, which, and then if I want to buy other tickets, they're like nine bucks each too. So it is worth it for me. It's kind of not worth it depending on like when I go see movies, but I like having it because I just, you know, whatever. But still, it's like other companies have, have shown up and they've done it better than MoviePass. And if MoviePass is going to, uh, you know, m try to go private, is it going to be like Redbox? Redbox tried to go and do a streaming service a couple of years ago. That failed. You know, uh, and now they just got rid of their video games. So now you can only rent Blu-rays on there. And it's, it's again, it's moving into this weird place where we find ourselves with subscription services. Um, so I don't know what they're going to do, but I don't feel bad that MoviePass is gone. In fact, I'm very happy MoviePass is gone. I know they shut their doors a few months ago. They can't hurt anybody anymore. And they did. They lied to moviegoers. They ripped them off. They they stopped them from uh, engaging with the amount, uh, with the service that they were paying for, and they were scummy as hell. They were absolutely scummy as hell in the end, because it was meant to be something that they could find a way to extort, and that was, and then it failed. So I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. But I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts on this one. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you miss Movie Pass? Probably not. Uh, <laughs> I will talk to you all later. Have yourself a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and peace out.